good afternoon, good evening, or good morning, depending on where in the world you are watching. We are the Mighty Jingles and Luke Nala. We are so happy to be here. It's been great in Warsaw, and I've just been advising uh, Mighty Jingles here how to or where to go to buy shirts. That's right, yes. <laughs> I had the misfortune of thinking when I was in Heathrow flying out to Poland. Hmm. I brought packed two shirts for two days. Well, accidents can happen. I'd better buy another shirt. So, sensible, sensible. So this thing is currently the most expensive thing I'm wearing. <laughs> I just don't. Is it? It's it's embarrassing, man. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. Okay, tell them. I, I've teased them. I have to tell them. Oh, yeah. God. I thought, oh, yeah, I'll have one of those shirts, please, with one of the shops in the duty-free section in Heathrow uh, Terminal 3. Uh, that'll be £82, please, sir. Oh, no problem. Handed over my card. Thought, did she say 18 or 82? Yeah. She must have said 18, Must right? have said 18. There's no mm. way it's 82 pounds. 82 pounds. That's what 82 pounds looks like. It doesn't even have a built-in TV or anything. <laughs> it's, it's just a shirt. You Yesterday, know. I was walking around in this linen uh, pink shirt. It's beautiful, really lightweight, but warm and refreshing. It was $25, not even pounds, <laughs> at the local shop here. Much better. And I'd be like, I'll take him to the shop. He can get some of those instead. He could buy five of them, four of them yeah. for the same price. It's not even that good. <laughs> ah, it's incredible. And also, I, during the break, uh, I made a few mistakes. I, I, I said, um, Spectrum are go. You said what? Spectrum is, go. Spectrum is go. Spectrum is go. Yeah, do you, yeah, you know what I've done? You've mixed up yeah. Captain Scarlet with Thunderbirds, I haven't did. you? Yeah. I did. And then I said, oh, I know, I remember, it's Spectrum is green. I do That's know. Right. I did watch the shows. I even watched um, oh, Captain Scarlet. Yeah. Right? I even watched Captain Scarlet. I loved oh, wait, all Oh, Spectrum was UFO, wasn't it? No. Or was it? Or was that Captain Scarlet? Spectrum is go. Yeah, that was. Oh, I can't remember that one. I can't remember if that is. I was, I was young. I was small. I wasn't. It was such a good show. All right, but let's have a look at what we're actually here for. And that's not the bad way. It's kind of the bad way. Oh, yeah, but I knew, it's, I knew we were it's here for a one. reason. It's group A, sorry. Uh, we've seen school bus dominate. They are definitely going through. There's no surprises there. Really strong. But look at that. Yeto did take two games off school bus, and Roulette did not. Mm. I would say for today that does put Yeto behind, but we are going to see what happens between these two teams from the North American server, Roulette versus the Chinese Yeto. That's right. So Roulette did actually play quite well. They were just unfortunately playing against school bus, and it wasn't good enough. But so did Yeto, and they exactly. took two games. So Yeto did better against A little bit better. Now, that was that game. It's not this one. It doesn't mean because you do well against one team, you've got to do well against another team. Your styles might be different, exactly. and they might not be compatible. We will see. Uh, but there we go. Uh, Quickie Baby will be back tomorrow. That's right. Uh, everyone who's wondering where he is, he casted all this morning for like six hours, and we gave him a break. We said, go on, go on. He's relaxing just over there behind the camera. That's right. And they he'll said, be back on tomorrow morning to say hello. They said, get the old man on instead. So, yeah, get uh, the, the old men. We there have, are, there I was. Older. So let's have a look at. I don't think we've seen Yato Gaming yet. I don't think we? we have, no. Let's so let's, take a look. let's go take a look at that. Um,我们对这次比赛很期待，也很认真。嗯，在这之前呢，我们做了一些调整，然后新进了两名嗯国内呃实力比较强劲的队员。然后通过自己不间断的训练，然后达到了一个很好的状态。嗯，我们没有什么特定的战术，都是根据对手和现场的情况在改变，然后去随机应变。呃，我们最大的优势就是反应快。我们这次比赛的目标就是一定要打进四强，这就是我们来这里的目的。亚洲全力，永不言败。Ambition top four. Yeah. That I is ambition. I have to say, I was immediately reminded of the Bruce Lee quote. As soon as he said, we don't have any special tactics, we just adapt to our opposition. Be like water. I was about to... <laughs> That's right. <laughs> flow. Go with the flow. <laughs> right, so oh. this is going to be an interesting match. We have seen on the day they are performing quite well. So let's have a look at what they did back in China, if we know. Yeah. Let's have a look what stats we get. These guys do look serious. They don't look overly uh, one way or the other. 
Seventy-six percent victories. Number one seed from the Chinese region. But there, I think that global ranking is not necessarily uh, representative because no. we don't have the statistics. Exactly. It wasn't provided. They only have twenty-one battles. Yeah. So, so you we can't don't really judge it. No. Global rank eleven. I think that's a bit deceptive. Yeah. Doesn't mean they're completely bad or completely good. Yeah. We don't know. They we could be better than that. They could be worse than that. We really yeah. can't say. So we're but just going to have to give them the benefit of the doubt and watch them play. I think that's it. I think we're not going to have to look at the stats for those. Let's just see how they duke it out. Exactly. But put uh, action. So this is the first time I've seen these guys play. Yeah, and me. I've not seen them either. Uh, obviously, you saw Roulette earlier. That's right. So, uh, Roulette did not play badly. But, uh, well, let's have a quick recap about Roulette. Okay, let's, yeah, let's have a look at Roulette and see, see what they uh, are playing at because these guys now have to step it up because they, we did see that Yoto were better against School against Bus. School bus right? but they're not fighting School Bus now, they're, no, they're fighting not. Roulette. So. Actually, I have to say that uh, the North Americans are struggling here for another reason. I was told this by uh, Elevate, mm -hmm. uh, that they have a few stomach issues. Uh. Apparently, and this is just rumor, that they made ice out of the tap water and then put it in their whiskies oh and uh, three or four of their players uh, aren't coping so well with that. Damn. It's a shame. That may, may have something to do with their performance. I don't know if it's just hearsay or excuses, but they might have been... Um, uh, that, that game, crap, perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> it might have, might have came down too hard. <laughs> Can't believe you went there. <laughs> I had to go there. I'm sorry. But... Um, Right. Here we go. Let's go and <laughs> have a look at them. Cut to VT. Cut to VT. <laughs> Our goal is to have fun, see how well we do, see how well, how well we compare to other teams, and just go from there. As I said, we have no pressure to perform well. So we're the, we're the underdog. So. We can only use five. The best aspect of our team play is probably our ability to adapt to the situations. We can do whatever we want, however we want. Like if something breaks down, it doesn't matter. We'll figure, we'll figure something out and just go with it. The biggest strength is our camaraderie, how well we perform together, how well we get along with each other, how, how well we understand each other and just our team play in general. Not really, nothing scares us because we have no pressure on us, how well we perform, that's up to us. Whatever happens, happens. It's not like we have to perform to a certain level. That was amazing. That ending was amazing. They're doing the Harker again. I swear they don't know whether from Russia, America, or New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. Uh, but their showmanship might be a step up, uh, above their playing. We don't. We we're well, we'll leaving it on the fence. Out. We're, we're going to stop the speculation there. We're just going to let them put their money where their mouths are and, and go toe to toe. So let's have a look at uh, roulette and how they performed in their season. Yeah. And uh, these guys obviously feel themselves as an underdog might hurt their chances a little. Uh, the, the mentality. Were they the wild card from the... No. No. The North American, the North second American. seats or first seats? That's right. First seats. First seat from the North American. But they region. have no confidence. Global ranking six, but they just, they come in, even their video just smelt, smelt? Seemed, <laughs> felt, felt. That's the word I was looking for, felt. Uh, <laughs> felt like they're going to be Underdogs, they feel yeah. like they've lost their confidence. So, well, right, I think game. let's go straight into this battle and see how it's enveloping. Let's see who's got to win between these two teams. It's China versus Time North America. Out. Time to roll out. You heard it here. Roulette versus Yato. Who's going home? Who's going through to day number two? Well, Look at the lineups. An E25. Oh, it's an E25. Well, that's it. Roulette's won. <laughs> what the? <laughs> 
no surprises looking at Yato. It's the regular lineup of T54 <laughs> lightweights. What? What are you two for? What? what? An, an E25. Game is rigged driving an Game E75. Is rigged. E25, sorry. Beautiful. Serendipity. <laughs> I, it has the highest DPS in the game for its tier. Yeah, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's insane. But it doesn't have much armor. No. Uh, but it is incredibly fast. And it's incredibly stealthy. But it's got low HP as well. So, but the uh, rate of fire on that 75 millimeter gun is just absurd. I want to see if this works. I really do. But th that's the 59.16 in that position. In that spot. This is why I thought the 59.16 had the better camo. Someone in the chat said I was wrong. And the 12 ton is better camo than the, the 59.16. I, I really think, I know that it's the 59.16 is the best. It just I just know it because they never put the 12 ton there, but they always do it with the 59.16 because the 59.16 can get closer. Well, he's doing I, a good job it. of spotting. But he's in pushing out from Abrasive in the T54 lightweight. They've lightweight. not spotted him, though. That's the thing. They've yeah. not spotted him. They no, might soon. No, no damage has landed, though. No, no everybody's taking speculative shots at the likely camping spots where the scouts are usually going to hide out. Right, Hen, Shako on the hill and the defensive formation. We are on Yato defending. If you guys didn't know, Yato are defending this map for the first two battles. We do see First Blood drawn. Uh, there it is, a little bit of damage against yeah, Woo Woo's just taking some hits. And uh, in the Ooh, far that south. Close. So yeah. he's got to be careful. He's He can't really afford to leave that position either because he's basically anchoring that entire flank. But he's he's ducking and dodging like an absolute pro. He's only team. He must have. Oh, oh they've hit him again. Second shot. He needs to abandon that he position. Needs to I get think. Get out of there. Or get some support over there. And he ain't going to get any support over there because his team are in the defensive position. So he's oh, got to get out of there. Another good shot. Roulette have a massive advantage of HP right now. This is fantastic. Is that by any chance? The oh, it's the well. RU. The he's RU is doing two the more hits at the most. Look at this camera angle. He got one more shot. Even a high explosive round will take this guy down. Will they be firing it? I would find a high explosive in this position. Abrasive takes a shot. That was huge. It took a lot. It took a lot of uh, component damage. That was. That was a really big against abrasive. Really big shot. Uh, I think. Who is on living on borrowed time? Here. I think Abrasive, by the way, was Simp. Oh, the old champion from North America. But he takes another hit and his repair kit is down. His repair kit is used. He's in the open. This could be the equalizer for Yato Gaming, uh, even though he's it was a bit of an advantage. He's lost vision, though. They've lost, lost vision, vision of him. So and he's managed to get great contact yeah. and get out. There we go. So the one tank down. Okay. And they've lost one of their tier eights. It's even. It's but even. And this is why, you know, Roulette, when they were playing earlier, they did not play badly. They just didn't play as well as the opposition. Yeah, well... Uh, they had some great plays. It, not seen Yato before. No idea what to expect of them. They're well, certainly not doing anything wrong here. Well, they are not doing so bad. Uh, Wumu may be down, uh, but they are the defenders. They still That's have right. that advantage that they can just sit there and wait for Roulette to come to them. Yeah. So it's still up in the air, and they still have the E25. Yeah, so. they can't afford to drive into each other like that. Here comes the E25. Oh, that's it. It's game over now. Here comes the E25. Um, no, he's not. No. We've okay. got three minutes left, and they have to make a decision very soon. Okay. Tono Jib's been spotted, but he's, he's been trying to get behind this farmhouse. Now that 59.16 is still spotted. And Ooh. the 5916 was spotted. He's had to break cover and get out of there. He's, yeah, he's not going to get away. Surely he's not going to get away. Oh! The WZ 131 takes a ton of damage, and the I was going to say he's still alive somehow, but he does get taken out. But the HP advantage is all but gone. Roulette took a lot of damage to kill him, but there is two guns down now That's the for Yato. Thing. That could be. Yeah, Roulette big. still have all their guns in play. All right, so this is still even, but two minutes thirty on the clock. Roulette have a little bit of a disadvantage, but they're going for the cap. That's the E25 in the cap zone. Uh, I think there's one other tank in with him, but uh, yeah, they do. No, it is just the E25 on a solo capture. So there we go. Uh, it's a little bit of pressure from Roulette, but they've got some time. Uh, Yato have two minutes to wait. They just need one good reset, and they could win from timeout. That's, that's an error on the uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, we're sitting here looking at the graphics. Hang on, Roulette, roulette are defending. not defending. Team. Ignore clearly the graphics at the top. We, we, we said this. Roulette are attacking. That's right. They're clearly not defending. Ignore that. They, get, they switched the graphics. Look at that. There we go. As soon as we <laughs> mention it. Oh, God. Quick, fix the graphics. But here they that's go. They're better. going for the capture. It's uh, 29 seconds left on that clock. Game is rig is still unspotted, I think. I, I, I don't think I've seen his bulb go up yet. No. So they don't know he's there. Although he's taken a little bit of damage. I think that must be that team was, round I think that damage. was collision damage. Yeah, that's, that's 
that's from an unexpected T54 lightweight. The, the shots are coming in. There you go. Roulette are losing their HP and Vashes massively. Abrasive have gone down. They're going to lose uh, Tono in one more hit. This could be bad. Yato are coming back in this. Roulette are in a little bit of trouble. One minute they left. They are attacking. They've done a good job so far, but they need to seal this deal. Star goes down. That's a good start. So they need to now take out at least one more tank or get this, the captures reset. They have to abandon That's that it. camp and go for the attack. Yato have to just run away and survive for one minute. That's this right. could be the first draw lose we're going to see That's from right, the yeah. attacker. Yato have just got to stay in the game. With a minute to go. Right. We see, yeah, Yato are running now. This is this is their they're holding back. They don't want to do the um, they don't want to hold their ground too much. They don't want to fight too much. But e 25 is going for the AMX 1390. Roulette has been away. Oh, he is. Game is rigged. Is charging the 1390. The 1390s on reload. There's no way he's going to survive this. The E75 is just going to take him you down. You are never going to run he's away from him. Not going to get away from him. You are never going oh, to. Oh, there's some the allied fires trying to help him. The E25s missed two shots in a row. Can he get the final shots? Oh, he's going to get chance. hit. One more shot. For him. He gets it. Oh. Ally gets it. Ally supports E25. And now he's taking cover he behind the dead 1390. Cover. He's smart. Game is rigged. It's not well, but 30 seconds have 30 left. seconds. 30 seconds. They've got to chase them all down now, and they're running. They are on the run. Yato are running. If they survive, they are going to win. Remember that, guys. Is as the and defenders. And Sharko is giving up his tank to yeah. fight them off. It's not going to happen. 15 seconds left. So that they Zahe may take can make Sharko, it out. And Zahe, as you said, rightfully so, sir, is going to make it out. Eight seconds left. Unless they ammo rack him with a really long distance shot. That's it's just a, not going to happen. It's a winning loss That's there right. for Roulette. Wow. Okay. First time we've seen uh, the attackers fell from timeout. That's right. Roulette just a little bit too slow in the execution. Yeah. But played really well. I liked it. Yeah, it was a good match. It was. Uh, I mean. Classic move there from the RU251. There's two of us left alive. There only needs to be one of us left alive. Yes. I'm going to slow them down. I, I, I will worked. take one for the team. I'll jump exactly. on that grenade. Yeah. They can <laughs> they can take me out, but you're going to survive. You'll do it. He, he took the flag and ran. That's right. Took the flag. Yeah. Reminds me of paintball, actually. Have you done, ever done paintball? I have done paintball. Very painful. <laughs> I, I once did it, and my mask got a bit misty, and I became the MVP. Uh, not MVP, uh, VIP. So they had to protect me. Yes. So I'm running around with all those things on me, but I couldn't see. And one of my teammates, I think he was trolling me, said that it's clear and I have to run forward. So I start running forward, and once you get hit, you're meant to put up your arms, and you're not allowed to get shot again. The enemy team, I feel, got a little bit trigger happy, and they unloaded around 75 shots. There was like seven of them waiting there. And my top was drenched to the point where it went, the paint seeped through the outer jacket to the inner jacket. And I was, it's, it's really like it's a Rambo for it. And it just dropped to my knees. And that's exactly how I feel that went, okay? Exactly how I feel. Pretty much. Yeah. Has that ever happened to you? Um, yes, many, many times. Although I played airsoft a lot more than I played Ooh. paintball. Um, I've played airsoft twice. Now getting hit by one paintball hurts a lot more than getting hit by one airsoft pellet, but you don't just get hit by one airsoft pellet. They fire it like 700 rounds per And minute. they have like shotguns and grenades. Oh, yeah, oh. Yeah. I've only done yeah. the basics with airsoft, like rifles, uh, yeah. triple shot rifles and stuff at the most. Oh, dear. Uh, but I've, I've seen the ones with the urban grenades and, pfft, and oh, jeez. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you have to wear goggles and stuff because oh, all the BBs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm a little bit too old and fat for airsoft these days, but uh, I've got some GoPro cameras, and I next, I think next time I do it, I'll probably just go up and get somebody young and fit to strap the GoPro to his helmet and say, "Off you go, I'll be drinking get tea." On, get on top of your gun. You can make an <laughs> FPS video of you playing I've airsoft. Done that. <laughs> I have, have you? done that. Is yeah. that on your channel? It's around there somewhere. Go check it out, guys. If you haven't seen that, go to his channel. Check what's your channel? Um, the Mighty Jingles. The Mighty Jingles on YouTube. Check yeah. it out and go looking for that video. With my uh, 450 pounds Scar H assault rifle. Yeah. Wow. Which I've used Committed. once. <laughs> really? Yes. For this video? That's an expensive video. <laughs> it's a good gun, though. Is oh, it? Yes. I'm sure it's a good video. Uh, Anyway, so that's it. Meanwhile, Yato, back to tanks. Yato won the first game, and it's very close. As expected, this game was super close on both uh, sides. Yato gets to defend one more time, mm -hmm. and we will see if Roulette can do it, because it was a winning loss. I like to call that's that right. whenever there's a draw and the attackers like deserve the win, if there was like an extra minute, then then I call it like a win loss. They didn't deserve to win in the sense that they took too long. It's their own fault. They, they were too slow in the execution. They played the clock out. And Yeto did the right they thing. They were outnumbered. They played the clock out. Exactly. And they got the win. 
So you can't you can't dispute them. They use the rules to their yeah. advantage, That's as right. you should in a competitive sports in any regard. So uh, yeah, Sieto are one nil up at the moment. Uh, roulette, uh, though, are working really good. Yeah, they've still and got they, all to play for. As we said about the tennis thing, they still aren't on their serve. That's right. And they've already scared Yato, so it's looking good for Roulette. Yeah, that was not an easy win for Yato by any stretch of the imagination. No. It was close. It close was close. all hell. There have been another 30 seconds of that match, they may have lost. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Or if they stood and fought, they would have lost, you know, yeah. if they stood and fought. Although, sometimes they did have way more HP, and sometimes when you decide to do that break, it looks clear like, oh, look, they broke. If, if there was 20 more seconds, they would have won. Yeah, but if there was 20 more seconds, they might not have decided to run to do away. To break, exactly. Yeah, they yeah. might have decided to stay yeah. in fight. I've seen Navi do that a lot. Where they go like, well, we've only got like 30 seconds left. Let's not even try and win the fight, because there's a chance we might mess it up. Let's yeah. just deliberately win, even though it looks like we lost. That's right. So you can't always judge the book by its cover. So, Yato. Yeah. It's first first game we've seen from the Chinese team. Obviously, we saw roulette earlier, um, and roulette played well. They just didn't, you know, it wasn't enough. Yeah, it wasn't. Um, oh, E25, E25 did okay. Yeah, that like run that. against the 3090 was reloading. Like, you're not getting away you're from me. You're not getting away from me. <laughs> no, you're not getting away from me. I'm, I'm just as fast as you, and I fire every second. <laughs> and the 30, well, the 3090 obviously ran straight towards his teammates. We're yeah. like, I, I could use some help here, guys. They almost we got, got him. We got this. Though. They nearly got him. They nearly got him. If they did, they could have been a different That's game. Right. In yep. fact, it would have been a it different definitely. game. Definitely. Would have that, been that they still won, but it, it would have been a clear Crossfire victory. came in, killed the 1390, E25 missed his last couple of shots, and of course the 1390 then provided cover for the E25. And it's so low, isn't it? Yeah. Such a troll tank. Yeah. Uh, do you remember the old physics? Where if you're well, where in, there weren't any physics. <laughs> yes, that's what I mean. Uh, where you could go up in something like the ELC yeah. next to a big tank, and it could never shoot you. It that's couldn't right. roll you off. You yeah. could just, just stay there and shoot like an IS-3. Uh, ELC always won one-on-one -on -one against uh, IS-3 because it just and, had to get next to him and, and then falls. just keep shooting. Yeah, anything yeah. with a big big turret, a high profile. I mean, IS-3 doesn't even have that high profile, but it can't look down. Uh, the E-25 was invincible. I've seen E-25s and ELC uh, AMXs ELC, sorry. Yeah. do that to TOG 2s, and it's yeah. just tragic. It's embarrassing. It's, it's just tragic. It was easier with the old physics, though. It still yeah. can be done, but it's just a lot harder. Yeah. Right, a few seconds left, and we're going to go into the battle and see if Roulette can get this, or Yeto will win both their defending games. Here we go, and we are not seeing another E25. It was a Ooh. gimmick. It's it's gone again. Tonajibs in an IS3. That's the no, that's not the first one I've seen tonight. It's the first one I've commentated on. I've seen a couple of IS3s running around on Runeberg matches tonight, but that was watching the main stage earlier on tonight. So what we're looking at here, it looks like uh, Yato have tossed in a T32 as well. I wonder what gun they're using? Yeah. The 105 or the 90? Well, is that, we'll is that IS3 double IS3s? They're yeah. on roulette. Wow. That's, that's, a, that's a bold, bold move. move. Yeah. yeah. Abrasive's but taken a hit at already. At the same time, here comes a T32 there on Yato. They they both both teams have decided heavy tanks is the way to go. Yeah. I wonder if that's a preemptive move here from uh, Yato. Like they're like, okay, they're going to go for IS3s. Now we know this, or not? I don't know. Let's see what they're doing with the IS. Okay, the IS3s are pushing around to where the flag would be if this was in counter mode, and they've managed to get into. Yeah, suddenly. The guns on those T-54 lightweights aren't looking quite so clever, are they? No, but... Then again, how much penetration does a T-54 lightweight have with premium ammunition? It's not that it's good, good, is it? It's, it's not bad, though. Yeah. It's not bad. They do struggle against heavy armor. I think it was Quickie Baby this morning was explaining that right. even with Prem, they, they struggle against things like IS-3s. They yes. really do. Uh, so so that this was could a be a very, very bold move. It is bold. That's, I'm going to keep saying it. It's yes. pretty bold. And it could work, but at the same time, the T-54 can penetrate. They're going to need light tank backup to stop these T-54 lightweights from getting around their flanks. That's the issue. Depends how they're going to use them. So, the I EMT. think they've got the graphics mixed up again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Roulette is not defending, guys. Roulette's attacking. Yeto okay. are defending. But T32 is in a great position. Star here, uh, hold down, almost impossible to hurt. The That's commander's right. Coppola there. It's the only way you're going to do some damage. And the IS3 hitting that is going to be all through luck and judgment. Abrasive had lost his driver. Uh, that's interesting. I mean, he's lost a lot of components. Every time he's hit, he seems to. He's not having much luck, is he's he? He's not. He's having a pretty bad time. Okay, so what so are they going to do with those? Oh, they're splitting. They're going both sides around the hill. Interesting. Again, roulette uh, being slow. Uh, I mean, we're not complaining, 
but they got to make sure that they don't spend too long deciding what they're going to do. They did it last time, and they were 30 seconds shy That's of the right. victory. And they've only got 4 minutes and 24 seconds left in this match. But then again, you know, it's, it's, oh, Brazier's driver is still... Hmm, I've seen that happen quite a bit tonight. All right, so here they are. It's going to be the commitment. We're going to see a good fight on the four-minute mark. Yeah, they're going to go for this it now. This is it, but they have been spotted now. The game is up. There is no more secretive, but the IS-3s need to come in at the same time. If they're out of sync with each other, so keep an eye on those IS-3s behind to make sure that they don't go down uh, so they're not out of the fight. But damage is going well, but Abrasive again Abrasive lost, lost another now. guy. Oh, my God. Abrasive has been so unlucky with his crew damage. Now, That's really unfortunate. 30, 90, still got three shots, but he's been flanked, both sides. Valeria Desolator taking a ton of damage. This is uh, still even. There's a gun taken out for Yato, but the HP is very flat. Yeah. Um, as I said, Abrasive is running on half power, and another gunner is dead. Akule is lost his gunner as well. What is going on here? Gets there, oh! No attention. No attention whatsoever to the threat from the front. Smash! Ram that kill. crumpled his tank. It, it would have gone flat if he could do it. <laughs> oh my word, that was destruction. That was me. Okay, so that's even me. things up a little. Hendo is down to a one shot. Another hit from anywhere and he will blow up and be out of the game. But Valeria is also within a one shot capability. Now he's got some backup there with a 1390. Zhong Dui only has three shots remaining. So. Is he going to go for a reload? Depends. He's going for a reload. But they are going for the capture. I don't think this is a deliberate capture. I think this is a lure. This is a bait. Get them out of cover. Come. But look yeah. at that HP. It's a little bit in favor of Yato. Uh, but the guns are definitely in favor of Roulette. Now, so you can see Chao Hei over here in the T-54 lightweight yeah. on the... Uh, but he's trying to get spots on those IS-3s. But the Spar Panzer 251 over there is going to be lighting him up, but he's been spotted as well. I like this move. I like this move from Relay. I think this might pay off. This is a really good chance for them to actually break the defense here of Yato. They, they're forcing them to engage the streets. Everyone else is hiding. Oh, I, I say that as uh, Navigator. I think he didn't. He wasn't meant to do that. I think his commander was like, "Hey, dude, don't, don't, <laughs> don't expose yourself." Uh, they're okay, not falling for it though. Yato are doing very Hen's well. Managed to get here. a kill. As Abrasive now, goes down to Abrasive one shot. is going to be going down. Oh, the third No, he's going to aim. Reloading. He's going to stop an aim. No, it doesn't matter. He goes out. Remember, his gunner was dead. The capture has failed. Uh, the IS-3s will not be able to chase these guys down, so if they decide to disengage, this is going to be a loss. But the RU gets hit in the uh, rear end, goes down to one shot. The IS-3s break from cover, gets some kills. This is still close when it comes to the tanks. If uh, Yato decides to stay and fight, they might lose this. It's still, the IS-3s do a ton of damage. Uh, it's 390 damage average per hit can be go anywhere up to like 450 and down to 320 but these guys can still do it they're very low in HP though and the T32 needs two shots to take him out but both IS-3s could hit him at the same time That's right. and he the could go is, down there's not enough time left to cap oh both missed now they're gonna run away Hun Wo needs to run away Zongdu has already oh, Zong done Dui it. Oh, already done it, so these guys just need to keep them out. But Valeria Desolator is giving chase. They're hoping the IS-3s will win this fight. Yes, the ricochet against uh, Tonto Jib, and Star takes a hit. So these IS-3s now can one-shot the T-32, which is a great advantage, but 48 seconds. But the T-32... And Desolator, wait, he's going to get the hit on the T-32? No, he didn't. Oh, he, missed. he missed it. That could be critical, but it's only 40 seconds left. I feel that the IS-3s will be too slow to successfully catch him again. And Val Valeria Desolator has given up the chase on oh. uh, Zongdoi. And Star does kill one of the IS-3s. Rula again, so close, yet so far. And he gets another miss from Verilite Desolator. Oh, Star beats both the IS-3 solo. Two versus one, man. Well, I was saying, the T-32 the, the T may be a one-shot kill, but so were the IS-3s. Yeah. And the, the T-32's got that gun turret. It Oh, it's a decisive victory. Nine seconds, eight seconds left on the clock, but all tanks are dead for Roulette. It's 2 0 for Yato, but again, very close. Yeah. Yato once again say, OK, <laughs> 20 seconds to go, run and hide. Roulette. We'll deal with the rest. Roulette are uh, taking their time. They're, they're not rushing yeah. into this, they're definitely playing it slow. I was wondering what they could have done differently. I mean, they did the right thing with the IS-3s, I think, but they didn't really back them up no. enough. See, what I think the biggest mistake was when they disengaged, they should have all grouped together, 
behind the cap in the furthest possible left-hand corner. And at that point there, the uh, enemy, Jato, would have to come over to, to decap the IS-3. So the That's IS-3s right. will be in combat range. And as soon as that happens, they come up on the hill, and then all guns, like artillery barrage, basically, yeah. into them. And they would have lured them out of cover. So if they that all would sat there in the camp circle, and yeah. then maybe sent one person south into the bushes and the buildings, so that yeah. they couldn't have somebody go in and spot them from that direction, yeah. forced them to come over the rise and expose themselves to But instead they, they kept popping fire. up and taking damage yeah. and they lost the tank here and here and they dealt with everyone else before they dealt with the IS-3s. Yeah. If they made them deal with the IS-3s first and while the IS-3s were absorbing damage and getting some damage off, and then, of course, then they could have supported And then of course Star in the T-32 played exceptionally well against those Yeah, it looked like he had lost and it. He got some luck yeah. because the guy at the back who was originally chasing after, what was his name, Zhong Dui? Yes. He was doing the, okay, I'm just going to go and hide in case we all yes. die. Yes. Fired two shots at the T32, both of them missed. And Completely. That, that yeah. is just RNG for you. That could have been the it game changer. could have been changer. decisive, but at the same time, two IS3s versus the T32. And once it went down to both, everyone's a one shot. It was two versus one. Yeah. And there's no way the T32 should have won that. Shouldn't have. It no, shouldn't not they should have been able to do it. it. You can appreciate it happening in a random battle. Yeah. Because, you know, T32, hold down. Come and come, come at me, bro. But even if it costs you one of the IS-3s, you should be able to kill. Yes. You don't I guess, expect I guess to see they, that at this kind of level. They try to play it so safe so they keep both the IS-3s alive. Yeah. And in the end, it cost them both the IS-3s. So yeah. that was uh, a really good play by Star and a bit of a misplay by Roulette. But again, they were on the attack and it was very close games every game. Let's see how they do on the defense. That's, That's nice. really the next. Uh, how are you guys enjoying these games? Uh, Roulette definitely taking their time. These are the longest battles we've cast in yeah. this day. They've so all lasted. I mean, normally, I mean, we've played games that were done in two minutes. We've, I think, completed sets in this time, yeah. actually. Uh, this is only the first rotation on the first map. Are uh, you guys enjoying the longer games, or do you prefer the shorter ones? That's a really good question. I yeah. think that I, I want you guys to answer. Let us and know either on Twitter or in the chat. And in about five minutes, we'll see what they say on chat. <laughs> <laughs> At which point, the next game will be done. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Yato looking decent. Yeah. Very close to yeah. Roulette. But Roulette, I feel, have a bit of an edge, unless they're not so good on the defense. Let's see how it goes, because they're defending now. Yeah, if they were meant to be better on the offensive, then we just saw them fail. Yeah, they had their chance there. They had the ch really had their chance. Every game they had the chance, it was That's super the thing, close. Though, because, you know, these teams obviously sit around and they watch tapes of their opponents play and this and that, but Yato are pretty much an unknown quantity. Nobody really That's knows it. how they play. Yeah, so they, that's maybe they're taking it slow. Hmm. Maybe they're taking it slow, they're just probing, Could just be. like, oh, okay, let's see what it's like, and that's their first test game. No. Well, it's 2-0 at the moment to Yato, but they were the defending games. Let's see how Roulette does on their defense. Here we go. Okay, that is the 12-ton, and a 1390 here, and two T-32s looking at the heavies from Roulette. They Keep really prefer the it. Lineup up. Let's have a look and see what Yato is doing. They have so the 50 stars back in a T54 lightweight, and it's pretty much it, it's pretty much their first lineup again. It's the uh, 5916, an AMX 3090, an IU251, and the rest are all T54 lightweights. And they're doing a really heavy push into the uh, Rumble Magic Forest. That's right. Uh, we're not going to see a Rumble there, though. We're going to see some sniping going yeah. on. And so. So where are they deploying the T-32s? It's got to be on the hill, isn't it? It's got to be on the hill. It's got to be on the hill. That's exactly where they're, they're going to be placing. Wait a minute, that's a T-32 and a Pershing. That's not two T-32s. Sorry, I just, oh, le I just leaned forward and my eyes adjusted. And that of is course, a Pershing. It's a medium. Yeah, I, I didn't All look. I just, I just quickly looked and was like, oh, it's T-32s. No, it's, a, it's the first time we've seen a Pershing this tournament. Well, Pers yeah, it is. First time. So the Pershing with premium ammunition has got ridiculous amounts of penetration. Yeah. You don't need it when you're shooting at light tanks. No, but it's the DPM as well. It's got really good DPM. It is. So uh, it's, it's got decent turret. It's got a lot more weaker. The, the cheeks are yeah, weaker. The cheeks the, are a hell of a lot weaker. The T32's the T32 got, T32 got a bigger mantlet, so it's easier to pen from the front against a Pershing. Although, if you're doing long distance shots, mm, higher I'm, chance, but I'm, still decent armor. I like the Pershing. It's a decent tank, but is this, is this the first time we've seen a medium tank all day? Wait. I think it is, you know. Really? Yeah. An actual medium An tank. Actual medium a, lot, tank. a lot of the light tanks are acting like medium tanks here. Well, the T-54 lightweight, you know, it's basically better it, than it the T-44. It feels like a medium it's, tank. It, it's it? better than the T-44, which is yeah. a tier 8 medium tank. Star takes a hit in the distance there. Good sniping there from Roulette. But uh, really, I'm trying to think, do we see another medium tank? No, this is the first time I've seen a medium tank all day. Wow. And then we saw the first tank destroyer earlier as well. So they're really oh. mixing things up. Good point. Roulette have brought two unique tanks to the battle. So uh, there we have it, yeah. Wow. 
And again, they're just Good sort observation. Of, they're just sort of probing each other's defenses. Again, they've got Hun Wo in the 59-16 sitting there in the cap circle, and he's forcing their hand now. They can't just hang around. Yeah, the, the base capture is going on, but it's just with one guy. The HP advantage is slipping very steadily in Roulette's favor, but they're going to have to break out of cover very soon to deal That's with right. this threat. And they're going to come under fire when they do that. And there you go. Uh, their T, the, sorry, their 12 ton takes a lot of damage. He's down to uh, but he's one shot, Hun but two HP left. Two HP two and two HP. shots fly over his head. And look at a that third shot, shot misses, in. and he survives. And he's made I it. I cannot believe it. That was like six shots he dodged, but seven shots. But he's forced oh, Hun Wo out of the cap circle, so he's done his job. Oh my, and that's his eighth shot. That's, just, that's eight shots that Ton, uh, Tono has dodged. <laughs> the guy is Neo. We need the music He's from the, the Matrix one. lobby scene. Yeah, he is ding, the ding, one. Ding, 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 ding. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. He, he's, he's there for the rest of the game now. <laughs> he daren't move from that position. He can't, he can't breathe too hard either. <laughs> it might break the tank. Two HP left. Wow. Okay, so... Come on then, Yato. What Yato do doing it again. They're trying again. 44 seconds. They've got two guys in the cap this time. They've got in the 59-16 and the T-54 lightweight with Zerhe. And they've got Star down there keeping Tono Jib in position. So Tono Jib yeah. is trying to spot in the cap circle, but he can't do it. He's got one chance. Like, if he comes out, he knows he's dead. Yeah. But he does get a chance to reset. That's right. So he gets a single but reset, which he's, is good. He's probably not going to be the one to reset. It's going to be... Here they come. Game is rigged. Akula. Abrasive, they're making the rush, Ooh. they've been spotted. Here we go, some damage is coming up, but they expect that. 90 seconds left, they've abandoned the cap. This was a bait, they've abandoned the cap, so this is going to be a full on uh, slaughter. Right. They go in to get start, that's a round from Abrasive. One more shot, and they will finish him off. He goes down, but game is great, oh. completely taken out of the game. He was not there enough to do the damage, but it's even again. The cap has been finished, and there's the same amount of guns on both sides, and it's roughly even on HP. This is really good. The Pershing in the battle against Zongdu, the Amos 1390 has a few shows left, might be able Can to get him. him? No. He's managed to, but he's watch the crossfire. The watch the crossfire. No, they're not going to get him. He's safe. Oh, and Hong Wu oh. goes down in the distance. Hong Wu's done. There goes the 59-16. So a bit of an advantage to Roulette. Difficult to say. And it, uh, it still looks fairly even. I mean, the Roulette have more hit points. There's two and a half minutes left. Oh, Hen! He goes oh. in but misses his first shot. The Pershing manages and to bounce it. And the T32 and the Pershing. Oh, oh the T32 Pershing could not pull back in time. Oh, double shot. And just Hen a little too late. Hen has made it into concealment. Oh, Hen was a little bit lucky there, but he did use his repair kit to repair those tracks. He Ballsy was move, tracked. Though. Ballsy move. He went in, oh. uh, he took the Pershing out, and he managed to do it without losing a lot of health. Yeah, there's a thousand HP difference here, and Yato are attacking. Remember that. Yato are attacking. This time it is Roulette's chance to just defend, but the Desolator oh. takes so much damage! That's half of their HP advantage! Oh, He's attacked in the open, but use the repair kit. There you go. We're, we're, we're in sync. <laughs> we are in sync. He gets out of there. But look at the health remaining. It's still even. Oh, there he goes. It completely evens up as uh, uh, Akali takes the damage and uh, Shaco, though. Oh! There goes Shaco. And uh, Nagabrator got that shot in. Very good Popped defense in here. Like a rotten melon. It really was like a little <laughs> in the in the ear. I hope I didn't hurt people's ears back at home. If you got headphones, I apologize. So now what are they going to do? T32 uh, is coming in. awfully isolated. You can see the shark circling. But while they're circling, there's going to be shots coming in from the sides. Right. The piranhas are going to pick away there as they circle. Oh, the T32 there with the 39. The He's pouring the fire into them. Hen goes down. This is a really good advantage for Roulette. They have still near a thousand advantage, but one shot left on the 3090. Wait a minute, that could really be a decider. He has to pretend he he's has got to shots. Reload. He's got to pretend he's got, he's got, to, got yes. shots. He can't afford to let that guy think he's out of ammo. But Abrasive comes in. He's going to protect him while he reloads. They just got to sit back. No, don't need to go over the hill. There's no need to go over the hill because you, you you're on the defense. You just have to wait. Oh. He takes another shot. If the the support comes in from the back, this could turn around. Although he's halfway through his reload now on the 3090. I think he'll be fine. Oh, oh no! He, him. he did kill Abrasive and Nagabata. He's going to get a shot into Nagabato. But the 1390 is, is also reload, reloading. So this is What's pretty What's Akula doing? Is Akula just hiding because he's defending? On low HP, yeah. He's, he's being the backup, but there's the reload. And Zio goes it. out and of the battle. He's wow. got the health. He can afford to trade against the other 1390. Right. Five. And he can just take the shot. Just, just sit there and wait. Just sit there, and wait. Take the shot, and mi don't miss your shot. That's not what we said to do. Oh. But he gets it anyway. Roulette with 405 HP. This is the same. This is the same. That the, was so the first close. battle. Had also two tank left with yeah. 400 HP. Such evenly matched, even teams. matched teams. Whoever goes through, 
deserves to go definitely. through. Definitely. Uh, absolutely definitely. even. Yeah. Uh, what a game. Really good. <laughs> I didn't see the chat replies. Uh, All right. I, I didn't see the chat replies about if they like the long games or not. Let's go and have a look. Let's see what they're saying. Oops. But I'm hoping you're enjoying these long games. It's, it, they're very tense. They're very close to the wire. There's lots of moving around and lots of interesting tanks, actually. We saw the medium tanks for the first time taken apart. Yeah. I'm not sure if the Pershing added all that much, but he was in a great position. He did bounce a couple of shots and they did win. So maybe. Maybe. Who can say? I didn't really see much of the match from the Pershing's perspective other than oh, getting the spanked. End. Well, yeah. no, no, he came to the end and he got rushed and he survived the first shot, which allowed a lot of damage yeah. going on to that uh, right. Russia. Uh, it was a great move. Was it Hem? Yes, and he got tracked, but repaired it immediately. If he didn't repair yeah. that track immediately, he was dead. I think he, he only dead. took one hit. Because he of managed that. to kill him. Yeah, he did manage to kill him, and he only took one hit, which was great from him, but it was so close to going wrong. Yeah. So half a second later, he would have been dead. But, but the two reactions. shots came in. Whew. Really good. It's getting getting late in the day, guys. It's the last battle. We've got one more battle on this map, yep. and then one more map to play. So and Yato have to attack again. That's right. And then we're on another map. And then we're and on if Yato win this one, yeah. <laughs> it's 2-1 right now, so it's really even. Yeah. And so Yato have to... If they win this one, they got the advantage, but if they lose it, it's 2 all. It's Absolutely even. Because pretty much all of the games that we've seen so far, one side has dominated the other. Mostly. mostly. We obviously had the Arete game. Yes. But they've kind of been over pretty quickly. But I really feel like you're getting your money's worth out of this one. <laughs> you really are. If you've been staying up this late or this early, I guess, in North America, That's this right, must yeah. be uh, early-ish morning, midday? Well, it depends. It covers three different time zones, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, it does. On the East Coast, I'm talking about. East Coast, five hours behind us, I think. Oh, Actually, it's six five. hours behind us, because now we're in Europe. OK. Yeah, we are. Yeah. It's six hours behind. So, so yeah, so you guys are early... Mid-afternoon. No, mid-afternoon, yeah. yeah. Oh, you're fully awake, you guys, in America. Uh, it is a Saturday, so there's a good chance you are sitting back on your big screen TV uh, and enjoying the show. So, yeah, there's that. Ready okay. for the next round? Ready for, I'm ready for it. Let's, are you ready? Let's, let's are you ready? The next round. And are you ready? Let's get ready, America. Let's go. Get ready, America. I don't know why I'm saying that. Oh, of course, roulette. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot. Uh, so it's China versus America uh, going at it. Roulette need to pick up this win. They really do make it 2 all, uh, and I, I feel that that's what we're going to get. I really feel that that's what we're going to get. They're shooting at each other, so their spirits are high. They're, they're not. They're not taking this <laughs> yeah, all exactly. too seriously. They're still. Yeah, they're not depressed. They're they're still going for it. Yeah, um, people are actually asking quite a lot. It's like, do these guys have everything unlocked? How many? Um, how many, how many crew skills have they got? They've got everything. They've pretty much got everything. They've got yeah. literally everything. They've got infinite gold, all the tanks unlocked. They can pick whatever they want in whatever combination they want with whatever colors and logos, whatever they want to have. So every guy has the complete access to absolutely everything. So it's an even playing field. Everyone's playing with the same standard of crews and stuff like that. So uh, you don't have to worry about that. This is at the highest level. We try and even the playing field as lot as possible. And there's a, the, I'm going to bring up the argument of premium ammunition as we see the opening shots exchanged with these two. Because a lot of people say that if we remove premium ammunition, there will be a better competitive scene. Do you know why the pros disagree? Why the pros that? disagree. Because if you take go back to AP, AP rounds, yeah. they actually increase the fact that RNG makes the difference whether it pens or not. More, more often than not, you'll, if you got your angled armor right with APCR, it won't go through if it wasn't going to go through. But it will go through if it was going to go through because APCR's um, penetration is so high. Yes. But if you use AP, because of that... Uh, 25% yeah. uh, uh, variation. Sometimes it's going to go through with the exact get, same shot. You'll shots, get more hits that won't. do no damage. Yeah, exactly. And it becomes even more RNG. Even though people seem to think it's the other way around. It's not. Armor is useful, even with APCRs. We've been seeing loads of shots passing, even off the light tanks. So if you're doing it right and you really know your stuff, APCR doesn't seem to... Uh, actually, it helps the game be even more less RNG. Even more less RNG? That's not really correct English, is it? I knew what you meant. You know what? I hope you know what Millions I meant. wouldn't, but I knew what you Millions meant. Millions wouldn't. <laughs> Thousands <laughs> wouldn't. I hope they did. Please. <laughs> Right. Okay, so what's been happening? A couple of shots have been exchanged, a couple of teams, a couple of tanks have taken some damage, but nothing serious. Uh, Yato Gaming, same lineup, T54 lightweights, they've got a T32 in there. Uh, T37 this time in Hunwell, rather than the 5916. Well, again, this is just they're, they're testing each other again. These two teams are pretty scared of each other. Abrasive tits the first hit. Uh, he does seem to be the uh, guy who likes to take the risk. Whoa, Desolator taking a lot of damage. Oh. I think he's burning. 
I, right, he is. He's, he's on fire. absolutely on fire. He's on fire. That's a ton of damage. Eight, 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 and he's already crippled with lots that's, of uh, module damage. That's the thing. People don't use fire extinguishers at this kind of level. They, they, they really prefer don't. to get the performance increase from premium consumables. Yep. And when it goes wrong, though, it goes wrong. It really wrong. goes wrong. And he gets another hit in. It's, it's the small rapid fire gun there by Hun Wu that's doing all this damage. In fact, this is the tier six destroying the T32. Absolutely disastrous hit for Roulette. Oh, he's not having a good game. Oh no. That poor T32 is This is which it. There he is. Uh, the T37 is, is doing the damage. One more good shot, and he's actually going to take him out. No, oh, it's Rickshin off the front of his armor. It's too thick. Can he stop firing? He actually knows it's useless, and he's just going to stop firing. Interesting. That he Rather just, than uh, give his position. He, that's it. He doesn't want to lure. He doesn't want to lure. Uh, bait the enemy into shooting in his direction, even if they've unspotted him. They can see the tracer so if they're looking in the right way. It would way. have been useful to get the kill on the T-32, but not at the expense of a good scout like the T-37. It's too early in the game to throw the t to, to throw any tank away. Yeah, it's way too early, but he's he's basically out of the game now. The T-32's advantage is the HP and armor, and he's, he's kind of lost that. Doesn't and again, the 12 ton's been spotted, oh, and he's getting rooted out of his position. Uh, the two are taking control of this. It's the first they time are. I think that one team's got a huge advantage over the other in position. Look at the map, that is... Yeah, well, I've never seen this happen this early in a match between these oh, two teams before. This is a great advantage here for Yato as they take out the 12-ton. Uh, the MX 12-ton goes down, the T32 is a one-shot, and here comes South the end rush. of the map, here it comes again, same as last time. Lots but of damage. But they've been spotted a lot earlier this time, and Too they're taking early. a lot more damage getting over there. Yeah, Gamey's rig is down to, uh, well, quarter HP, less than a third, but now the Sun have produced the damage back, it's still with a thousand HP advantage to Yato, and it's not looking good. But look at the other end roulette. of the map. Zong Jui just came round, and he took out Valera Desolator in the T32, and, and the now they're going for the Pershing. Pershing, the Pershing is, is dead, his, his card is marked. Oh, great focus fire here by Yato. It doesn't matter if we're defending, but look, the HP still isn't that far That's apart. Right. Gaming's rig may be down one hit, but Zero High might go down, and they go into the but cap zone now to they're put in pressure. The cap. Mm. So they've basically swapped positions, exchanged a number of tanks, but now the, the advantage once again lies with Yato Gaming. Now the defending team, or as far away from the cap circle as they could be and still be on the same 23 map. seconds, HP advantage a thousand in Yato's uh, favor, and uh, whoa, the Rue is in such a good position We're right seeing now. seeing here in the RU251 coming over to intercept and spot anybody attempting to reset that cap. Start praying to whatever deity you believe in if you want the North Americans to win, because they are in a hard place and a rock, or rock and a hard place, whichever way you want it to go. <laughs> Four, three, two, one, one. And no they reset. Have one by cap. Wow. Yato go 3 1 up against Roulette. Unexpected. These guys were even toe to toe the entire time. Although the battle is not over yet. Yes, it. There it well, goes. It is now. They think it's all over. It is it now. Is now. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was challenged to say that live on the street. Uh, it's like, is it, I, I've actually done that before in meetings. Yes. We're told, like, we, we, before we go into the meeting, we're like, okay, we've got, we've got to drop these certain That's words. That's right, in. yes. It's a way to make these weekly meetings go Buzz, a little bit buzzword better. Buzzword bingo. That's it. You've played it. You've played it. You've got these certain words you have to say in the meeting. And if you do it, you, get, right. you get a cookie. That's whatever, right, yeah. Whatever the cookie may be. Yeah. But those games, I cannot believe roulette behind. Wow, 3-1. All these games are super close, but now Roulette just messed up a little bit too much. And I don't, actually, that play from the T37 was just gorgeous. Oh, it was. It was perfect. It, it almost solo destroyed a T32. Yeah. <laughs> That's T32 what won the game. T32 was just. I want, stop <laughs> shooting me! Where are these shots coming from? Oh, I don't like this game anymore. He didn't move out of the way. No matter what he did to re-angle, he was still taking still the damage. Taking hits. 100 damage, 100 damage, 100 damage, set on fire, 100 more damage, 100 more damage. He was down to 200 HP, and that's when the T-37 uh, 37 decided, you know what, I yeah. I'm going to chillax now. Yeah, I've done enough. I've done enough. <laughs> I'm going to relax, not get caught out. And then they discover where the 12-ton is and get him out of the game as well. Right. And at that point there, they were so far behind, they were not really able to, to get back in. Uh, News they made from a the other server. Uh, the other games are going on. We can actually give you the result here. I think Virtus Pro just beat Elevate. Elevator out. Elevator gone. I yes. think we can see that result now for yep. you in Virtus the background. Virtus Pro are looking very, very happy with themselves. They've managed to go through after having some disastrous games this morning. So we can give you that news right now. Elevate is out. It means Roulette is the last chance for North America. That's and they're right. currently down 3-1. This is not looking good. Uh, 
North American fans, you must be on the edge of your seats right now, or you've got your controller in hand ready to throw at the screen. <laughs> so, no, not yet anyway. You've got to wait till the end of tomorrow, or at least the end of today, uh, before you throw those controllers. Uh, actually, I, I've almost destroyed a TV with the Wii remotes when they first came out. My, my cable snaps, and psh, ah, but luckily it hit the top of the TV, it bounced off. Well, that's, that could have been a very expensive mistake. Yeah, I was actually around my dad, he had the, the Wii, and I actually almost smashed his um, light as well. Because we were playing the bowling, and I, I did it a bit too hard, and I hit the light bulb, and he was not happy with me. He's, he's, he's like 50 years old, he's like, I knew, I knew you would do that, I knew you would take this too far. <laughs> I was like, you're the one with a Wii. <laughs> You're the one with a Wii. I'm just seeing what the Can't technology is like. Can't play anything with you, can I? You're just too aggressive. With, with, with the bowling, you have to put quite a bit of effort in. I thought it was the same, but I, I overestimated the Wii. You just have to do this, really, don't you? you Can't take him anywhere. That. Oh, it's, it's true. It's true. Okay, but the next map is starting soon. I'm not sure actually what the new map is. I guess uh, we'll soon find we out. We didn't get told, but it's 30 seconds till the battle starts. Uh, can we run, run the map preview if, if we got it? We have 30 seconds, uh, and we can see what that map is. But uh, it's currently 3-1 to Yato, and Roulette are the last chance here for North America. That's right, so come on. So five more seconds, and we're going to be in that battle, and we're going to see what map we're playing on and who is attacking. It could really decide everything. There's only two more wins needed for Yeto, oh, Prokhorovka, and we do have uh, Roulette in the attacking position. If they lose these two attacks, they're out. That's, That's right. it. That's yep. the end of it. Pretty much it. So Styles shifted back to the T54. They're going with the tried and tested formula on Yato Gaming. Loads of T54 lightweights and all you 251 and the T37 as a scout. Yeah. Ah, the Lyra Desolator is in the M41 Bulldog this time. Two of them. Yeah. Now the rest are just T54 lightweights. Got reasonably standard uh, lineup, I feel. They, they, they've been quite crazy this yeah. entire time with their lineups uh, compared to the average. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If they get caught out here, this looks Ooh, like a really good move by Yato. They're just going for it. They are going to go for it, but there's going to be a lot of support. He's going to go down for it. No damage returned. That was a fantastic play. If they can get away with it, they're sticking together. They're it's a wolf it. pack. They're going to engage them. This is going to be destruction. Roulette on the back foot. The Walker Ball goes going down. Desolate is getting damaged. Abrasive's being rammed. Zero High takes a little bit of damage in return, but the HP is dropping from every direction. That's Abrasive down. It looks like Yato are full control, and half their team are on the hill, and they're out of position. All the guys on the hill were out of position. They couldn't get covering fire. is... Disastrous roulette. They are half as much HP remaining. They have to engage right now. Uh, they cannot run away. They are the attackers here. Yato called this absolutely knew exactly what they were going to do. No, Did roulette not see four this one. They, they, they can't get well unless they ammo rack three times in a row. We're going to find out if this is going to happen. As Hen takes 50% of his HP damage, but Yatonio goes down to within one shot. He pops, oh. and we're going to see Akale go down very shortly afterwards. And game is rigged. And it's not as if they can even run away and hide count the match out because they're the attacking they team. Attack team. And he falls into the water, they're chasing it down. Pile up! Pile up in the city! <laughs> oh, and the end of the dunes. Everyone dives over the hill. Oh, it's 4-1. That, oh, one. that didn't even last two minutes. That didn't, we, say, I, I, we're discussing it before. Like, do you like these longer games? Yes. These two teams like to draw it out to the end. So one minute you, gone. How do you feel about these longer matches? I oh, feel yes. that you're getting more money's worth out of them. Yeah, sure. Gone. <laughs> just, we just like, Prokhorovka, the Yato is like, okay, they think that we're boring. <laughs> they think that we sit back and play intelligently. Let's YOLO this. I like these Chinese guys. They're really good. Yeah, they're good to watch. They are really good. I'm really impressed by their performance. Uh, they've really um, shown themselves reasonably equal to the number one seed for North America. Was That's right. No, yeah. They, yeah, they are number one. Yeah, they are number one seed for North America. And they're proving themselves at least equal, and it looks like better. <laughs> I did, wow. I don't think there's really much good. argument there. No. Well, just, it's like they said, they don't have any, right, they said right at the start in the video, they don't have any particular tactics that they use. They just like to adapt to whatever opponent they're playing. And they have learned Be it. like water. And that's exactly what they're I doing. I think they have learned yeah. exactly what Roulette are doing. And now they're on their last chance. You, Roulette's uh, logo is the uh, six iron with the one remaining shell. Yeah. They're on their last chance. Their name's chance. A play on Russian Roulette, isn't it? That's yeah. it. Yeah. No, I, I, I'm just, yeah. They're on their last bullet. Right now, they're, they're going to pull That's the trigger. It. But now the choice is, do they do it to their own head, or are they doing it to theirs? <laughs> I think they're, they're down to their last chance. Uh, Come on, The Roulette. gun is smoking. Uh, but they're not out of it. We've no, seen that most games are really close. So how many is that now? It's 4-1. Four, 4-1. One. Four, one. There's one game left. They're on the decider. So they have to win. Yeah. They have all to. All of the all next matches. All games, yeah. And all then three. it's a tiebreaker. Yeah. It's tough. Really It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. Poor Roulette, indeed. It's been exciting to watch, though. 
Yeah, it's been absolutely fantastic. Actually, if we have the information for the other group, the one with Virtus Pro in it, I would love to be able to show that to our audience. If we have that group information, I want to see what the result was. If it was a 5-0 again, if uh, oh, yeah. Elate managed to get us a couple of games in, I want to see that result. If we've got that, I, I don't think we do. I'm uh, not seeing it. Yeah, I don't think we have it. Okay, but uh, still, <laughs> still. <laughs> Come on. 5-1 is the result we got in the That's headset. That's what we think. 5-1 five five is a think. Pretty convincing win, either Pretty way. Pretty convincing. Let's go into the game. Yato have to destroy Roulette one more time. Roulette are on their last chance. They have to pull this out of the bag. Will they be able to do it? North America's last flag flyers coming in now. And I think they've got to commit everyone together. They don't want to be caught separated again. I've learned that lesson there. Think yeah, I think you're rumble right. Rumble in the center. Is this going to be a rumble in the center? I Jingles, is this a rumble in the center? I think they've just decided, screw it, lads. Oh. No guts, no glory. Chick dig scars. Glory lasts forever. Let's do this. Let's do this indeed. As Freedom. The Walker, <laughs> the Walker border takes a lot of damage. Oh. This is getting focused down. They're trying to take him out. But instead, two tanks from oh. Yato are annihilated out oh. of the battle very quickly. His Destiny is still alive. Desolator. They're trying to ram him. He's still alive. He's still shooting. They haven't managed to finish off any tank oh. left. There he goes down. But look at the focus fire here. But There's now only, they killed him. There are four tanks remaining there for Yato. Only two down here for Roulette. It looks like it's going in their favor. 1,000 HP advantage. Shano is the next target. They are focusing the fire. Look at this call. It's really calm and collect for Roulette. They are doing beautifully. Chaos is working for Roulette. Chaos is working for them. They have one of their tanks. Valim down to one shot. Other three are still alive and kicking. This has got to be close, though, as Yeto are fighting, but 800 HP left. Is it enough? Yeho's got to be getting round. Oh, they no, they're going to shoot him. Yes. But that's a round that kill. Round Rumu kill. versus nice. Abrasive. Game is rigged on reload, so he's not in this fight. Abrasive reloads. One more shot. Abrasive might as well just sit still and aim this shot as Game Rig is also is giving Game chase. Gonna try that's to it. Roulette. Two, it. four. Fantastic that play. That was just superior. Focus fire and shot and target calling by the team captain. Uh, roulette, that was fantastic. That was it. I think they've now, if they've learned, Maybe they they've stay got together back. and engage them directly. Yeah. If you can do that, then they had way better, way better uh, focus fire and group movements. Yeah. Absolutely. You saw that they were communicating way better. They're either calmer or they're focusing or they're, they're so, just. So tanks better. taking fire from the flank and not turning to engage the tanks that were firing them and instead focusing on that one target. Yes. And just removing guns from the battlefield one, one after one. another after another. It, it was, was superior beautiful. fire discipline, it was superior target say, designation by the team captain. It was a joy to watch. I have well to say, played, it was it was sexy. <laughs> I, I must say that was that was arousing. I watched that, I was like, that was good. If I could communicate like that, if, if I was that good of a commander, I could I could win every battle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Roulette is still in the game. Roulette is still in the game because of that superior play. And it so, was superior play. So is this, or can we safely say that Yato seem to have a superior advantage on strategy, but Roulette are better in the actual skirmishes, if it's the direct conversation? I think of it, uh, it's it, what seems to be the case is when it comes down to a, just a mass brawl like that, that Roulette are the better players. Yeah. Not by much. There's not a lot in it, but they are the better players. But yeah. when it comes down to working as a team, Yato seem to have the edge. In in the strategic movements, in yes. the whole movements. And this is why I believe that Roulette stayed together in that one. They were like, okay, yeah. if they come at us again, this time we're going to be ready for them. We're going to take them toe-to-toe -to -toe and show them they cannot bully us. Right, they, yeah, yeah. Okay, they snuck. They, t they caught us split into two. Yeah. Never again. Yeah, I think Roulette got angry after I Yato just rushed and ruffle stomped them like that. Like, they thought, right, that's, that's, that's how you want to play? Right, we'll show you how yeah. it's done. We're American style. American style, yeah. <laughs> Just come at you. Come at you. Come, come at us, bro. You, bro. Come on. We got this. Next game starting very shortly. We have Roulette on the defense, but still, if they lose, they're out. That's they're right. still playing on the edge of a knife. That they does not mean they're out. They still have to win every game from here on in to stay in for tomorrow. Let's go. Let's go into that battle and see what tanks they've got. Very standard setups here for both the teams. We do have an RU, though, uh, on the attacking side. So we're looking at a reasonably standard game from here. We've got to see a mid-stroke west defense from Roulette. They're all staying together again. It's like they've realized that's their strength. Come on, Roulette. You can do this. They can. It's not going to be easy, but you can do this. We want them to bring it back. Before people th uh, say that we are biased, we just want it to go to the tiebreaker. Yeah. We want to. We want the, the score at the end to represent how this games have been played out. It's been incredibly close every single time. So we kind of want the, the final result to represent that. 
Now what are they up to? I don't know. I'm okay. just going to watch this. We're going to keep this calm. This is a bold defensive strategy from Roulette, completely abandoning the cap circles. And now they're circling around. You see Sharko there in his RU251 is going looking for them. Can't see any tanks, boys. Where are they? I could have sworn they were here a minute ago. 18 seconds left. 17, 16. This might be too much pressure. It was a bait. Oh, they they decided it. to come out. But the HP, uh, if you look at the HP markers, this is going to be chaos again. But this is where RU thrived last time. We have a bracer that's taking a ton of damage. The focus fire is going really well for Yato this time. The HPs are roughly even on both sides. We will see the tanks going out. Star's low, but they can't find him. He's hidden away. But if he can keep that um, damage coming out, it might work. A bracer does go down. Songhai also, that's one tank each. The HPs are going slightly in roulette's favor. Ooh, They're starting to get Hand, these tanks. But it's starting to go for both sides. We see Tonto go down, but there are too many tanks going out for Yeto. Rula have figured out how to do it. They are winning these direct conversations. Uh, confrontations. <laughs> confrontations. <laughs> Look at this go. The red markers are more strong than the battlefield. But wait a minute. Vanin was out of position, and Hen, Sheko, and Wumu managed to really bring this back. This is not over. Rula are only 400 HP ahead. They have to stick together and take that gun out. Hen is doing beautifully. Roulette can't afford to go after Hen now because they're going to have to cross the open field and they're going to get shot in the flanks by the other two guys. So they've got to... They're doing three one on ones Ooh. They are going for three one on ones here. This is here, all coming down to gentlemen. individual player skill. Hen is going to go ram He's going to ram game him. Rigged. No, oh, he misses he the ram. It. He misses the ram. Hen could and win. Oh, my God. He's reloading. No, he's messed up. Hen won that battle. Of the one on one Game is rigged. Completely screwed oh up no. there. He went for the ram kill. He was oh. out of ammunition. He missed. Oh, my God. All the one on ones lost. All the one-on-ones lost. Oh, no, no. Aku won his, but that's it. The dream is over. Oh. North America are out of the grand finals as Yato with 322 HP. All one-on-one -on -one battles at the end oh, now. What a finish. But it... <laughs> the three of them just went, OK, I'm he's yours, cry. he's yours, he's yours. Go and do it. Yeah, it was cool. And I thought Hen is... Dead. Game is he's, got, he's got this guy. Got this. He's caught him reloading. Game is rigged, though. Cocky. Too yeah. cocky. Overconfident. Emptied his magazine, ram kill, oh. and missed. Oops. He was probably like, <laughs> I got this, guys, I got this. Uh, 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 oh, uh, I thought you said you got this. Uh, don't ask, don't ask. That may have been what cost them. Damn. Their position in the Wargaming League Grand Finals. We, we, we've been asked to do more Russian uh, accents, but this time it's going to be the American. Damn, son. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That was oh no! That was roulette. unexpected. That 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 was unexpected. Uh, so the Chinese team China takes or the through. day. China or through. Wow.